Now, intermolecular forces are very important because they tell us about uh, uh, they tell us a lot about the properties of covalent compounds. Yeah. So, intermolecular forces are very important. Now, there are two types of intermolecular forces: van der Waals forces and hydrogen bonds. So, before we delve into these two types of forces, let me tell you what intermolecular forces exactly are. So, when we did ionic compounds, we studied the force of attraction between uh, between positive ions and negative ions. When we do covalent compounds, we studied the we study we don't study the strength of the covalent bonds, which means we are not uh, we are not we are not going to study the strength of the electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and the bonded pairs of electrons, but what we are going to study is the strength of the intermolecular forces, which means the at the forces of attraction between the molecules. By molecules, I mean things like between Cl two molecules, between one Cl two molecule and another Cl two molecule, between one HCl molecule and another HCl molecule, and between uh, between one H two O molecule and one H two O molecule. So that's what I mean when I talk about molecules. Yeah. So this uh, so basically this is what intermolecular forces are they are basically the forces of attraction between molecules just remember they are not the forces of attraction within molecules they are the forces of attraction between molecules that's why they are called intermolecular forces they are the forces of attraction between molecules so let's talk about van der waals forces okay so van der waals forces are of two types instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces and permanent dipole dipole forces so instantaneous dipole induced dipole forces in short we write id id forces in short we are going to write id id forces you can also write id id forces they are also called london forces and they are also called dispersion forces so i prefer id id because it's easy to write id id but yeah you can write any 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 force so id id forces so id id forces are to do with non polar molecules remember these are for non polar molecules and permanent dipole dipole forces these are for polar molecules yeah now now let's say we have a chlorine molecule okay cl2 so we know this is non polar because both chlorine atoms have equal electronegativities so they will equally share the bonding pair of electrons so they are non polar now what happens is that the, that electrons are in continuous motion they are not stationary they are in continuous motion so because electrons are in continuous motion sometimes most of the electrons in the molecule may 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 turn towards this chlorine at, atom giving it a delta negative charge and 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 therefore there will be a delta positive charge on this chlorine atom so this is not because of the polarity in the molecule it's because sometimes all the electrons while moving they may move towards this chlorine atom giving it a partial negative charge and giving this a partial positive charge so this is instantaneous and what i mean by instantaneous is that this lasts only for a fraction of a second because th this dipole the, uh, we, you, we we know that this is called a dipole this dipole is instantaneous because it only lasts for a particular instant it's not permanent so this is called an instantaneous dipole now what this instantaneous dipole will do is we can see that this this chlorine atom has a delta positive charge right so it's going to try to attract electrons from this cl2 molecule so when it tries to attract electrons from this cl2 molecule electrons will come towards the left and because the electrons will come towards the left this will have a delta negative charge and this will have a delta positive charge so this this instantaneous dipole this instantaneous dipole has induced a dipole on the neighboring molecule and it has induced a dipole on the neighboring molecule so now there will be a force of attraction between them because remember 
opposites attract so positive will attract negative negative will attract positive so these two molecules